Hello, this is Professor BRB, and today we'll be learning how to import a video clip into an InDesign document for use in an interactive PDF or a SWF. And what I'm going to do is on this page, I have a multi-state object, and um, that is a kind of a slideshow. However, since I want to export this as an interactive PDF, unfortunately, a multi-state object does not work in interactive PDF. Um, I'm going to play this page, and you'll hear that there is a sound uh, of a train whistle that you'll hear on the page load, and then we'll look at the multi-state object. So that was a sound that was just set up on multi uh, on page load. And notice if I click these buttons, I get a little slideshow. And that's a lot of fun, and it'll work great on SWF uh, export. But unfortunately, um, it won't work with an interactive PDF because multi-state objects are using Flash technology. So I'm simply going to delete those elements because they're not going to work with what I'm going to do. And I'm going to place a video to replace them. So this is exactly... Placing a video is exactly like placing a photograph or a sound or anything else. You go to File Place or Command D and you find your video clip. Now notice here that my original clip was in M4V format and that is grayed out. InDesign will not accept that format. I used Adobe Media Encoder to convert it very quickly to an F4V format, which InDesign does accept. And if you need to know how to do that, there's a previous video in this playlist that will show you very quickly how to accomplish that. So uh, right here, I simply click and drag uh, just as if I was importing a picture. And we're going to go to interactive PDF here, uh, workspace. And notice there's no multi-state object um, in interactive for PDF because that, as I previously mentioned, doesn't work for PDF. So with my video still selected, um, I can open up Media Panel, and I can preview it here. And I can choose any image as the poster, which means what, what will show when a user first comes to the page. And I can choose any frame here, say if I want to use this last frame, right here where it says poster from current frame, I just click this little refresh button and now that's going to be my poster image. Um, I do not want this to play on page load and I do not want it to loop, which would mean it would just keep playing over and over and over again. But I do want to put a controller there and the default is no controller, but we want the user to be able to play this. And you have a lot of different uh, options here, but I'm just going to set it to the first one, skin overall. And that will give, and uh, I'm going to click here, show controller on rollover, because I want it to show when the user rolls over. So let's go down here to preview spread. This will launch our SWF preview. Let's pull that up. And it's playing the um, on-page load sound that tells us it's a rail travel page. And now when I mouse over, I get my little controller here and I can play my video. So um, that works great. Let's go ahead and in the next video, we will export this for interactive PDF. So with my video still selected, um, I can open up Media Panel and I can preview it here. And I can choose any image as the poster, which means what what will show when a user first comes to the page. And I can choose any frame here, 
say if I want to use this last frame, right here where it says poster from current frame, I just click this little refresh button and now that's going to be my poster image. Um, I do not want this to play on page load and I do not want it to loop, which would mean it would just keep playing over and over and over again. But I do want to put a controller there and the default is no controller, but we want the user to be able to play this. And you have a lot of different uh, options here, but I'm just going to set it to the first one, skin overall. And that will give, and uh, I'm going to click here, show controller on rollover, because I want it to show when the user rolls over. So let's go down here to preview spread. This will launch our SWF preview. Let's pull that up. And it's playing the um, on-page load sound that tells us it's a rail travel page. And now when I mouse over, I get my little controller here and I can play my video. So um, that works great. Let's go ahead and in the next video we will export this for interactive PDF.